Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can make the factory reset on our controller. So let's go to the presentation. There we go. So the idea is to make the factory reset on this controller, the M251 D-Pack. So in order to do that, what we need is to use the SD card. So we can use any standard SD card, well, the standard, they need to have these kind of uh, requirements. Okay, I'm going to put it over here. So the format of the SD card must be in this one. Uh, we use a SD card less than 16 gigas, and these are the formats that we can use. Okay, in my case, I'm going to use a standard less than the 16 gigas and SDHC. So if you don't want to use a standard, we also provide a SD card, which is this reference over here. Okay, this is the SD card that we can provide. And these are the characteristics below. Let me just find myself a little bit. So you can see here the characteristics of the SD card of Schneider that we can provide. So as soon as we have this, if you have any SD card, it's good to format it. So let me just put the SD card on my side. Okay, so this is my SD card. It's already plugged in. I'm going to format it. Here, you need to check the capacity. Part 32, and then the label. I'm going to start with this. Yes. <laughs> format complete. So as soon as it finished, that's it. So now. We have the SD card. The next step is to tell the controller that need to that we need to make a factory reset. For that, we have a command which is called the uh, reset origin. That is the command that we need to use in the SD card in order to format the controller. So, if we continue with this process over here, first we need to create a folder called sys. Inside, we need to call we need to create a folder called cmd and inside we need to create a txt file with this common over here so let's try to do this on my side so we just need to create folder sys then another folder cmd and in here, we just need to create a txt file. Dun, dun, dun. But the txt file must be called script and the extension must be cmd. We should be able to see this message because we are going to change the extension of the file. So, yes. And in order to edit this, we just need to right click, edit. And it's on my other screen here. And here we just need to type the command reset or eg. Okay. And then just save. Once we have this, what we need to do is to remove the SD card, safety always. And I have it over here. And then we need to make some kind of steps in order to. Um, to activate the uh, reset origin, it's not just plug the SD card. So these are the steps that I have done. So this one are the ones that we need to follow. So let's change the view and I show you what we got. So this is the M two five one D pack that I have, and I'm going to ping the device. So right now, um, this is the IP address that I have assigned to this controller. MST, we just put this over here. Okay, this is the communication. So, uh, let me see which cable. This one is not the one that I'm using, so I'm going to remove it. This one is the cable, so I'm going to remove it so you can see that uh, there is no communication at all. And I have the timeout. Okay, so I'm going to connect once again the cable just to show you that that is the controller and 
there is no trick over here so that's the controller now that we have the sd card what we need to do is to remove the sd card of our computer we have done that we just need to remove the power cycle so i'm going to remove from here okay you can see now there is no lights anything at all over there and you can see that i don't have communication so here we have the cover where we need to introduce the sd card just plug in this over here good now what we need to do is to give power to the sd card to the controller it's going to be booting now we should be able to see the sd card okay it's flashing and now we need to wait for this to finish so here you can see there are some leds with error okay in the natural behavior we should be able to see this okay this part over here okay in my case i'm getting this but i'm going to show you why i got this so all we need to do is to remove the sd card power cycle the equipment okay remove the sd card and put this back again now it's it usually takes um between 50 and 55 seconds in order to connect and have it run again but as we have done the factory reset the ip address i have used it's been lost and using the default ones okay so even if i use this part over here it's not going to do anything at all so now what happened over here so we have already done the factory reset as you can see now the ip address is lost which is good so i have the default one once again so in order to check what's going on inside the inside the uh, controller during the process we can use the same sd card in order to check what's going on so if we introduce the sd card okay Doctor, let me just go back to the next slide there we go go back to the sd card we should be able to access to this script once again which is auto generated by the plc so in normal circumstances we should be able to see this behavior resolution return okay which is fine now one thing that i saw on this particular version of the firmware that i'm using is that generate an error so if we open this car cmd i have this file and this one so if we double click on this one we should be able to see over here that we have the return okay which is good it's doing what we want but then we return this unknown command this is just a bug for this version of the firmware that i'm using okay but in normal circumstances the right result it should be this one over here which is the resolution okay in this case it's done but it just gives us an additional error that should have been there so now we have done the reset so the controller by default has some credentials that allow us to connect using the ecostructure automation expert and also using the ecostructure automation device maintenance so the user and password are these ones over here okay and by default okay these are the ethernet uh, configuration for it point one then dot then dot then dot then and then we need to figure out which are these x over here that i'm going to show you later that are based on the last four digits of the mac address and the same can be applied for the um m2 uh, for the ethernet port 2 of this device 10.11 and the subnet is this one 255.255.0.0 .0 .0. So let's check what we have done. 
just to double check that nothing is missing. So we have already format the SD card, so you already know that how to do it. We have created a script. We added the command on the script and also provide the factory reset and then also check the logs. And I told you that there is a bug on this particular version that I'm using. So um, this is how we can make the factory reset on the controller that we call now uh, reset origin using the command on the SD card. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.